What is up guys, it's Swammer here uh, with some Great League Battles. Uh, these are actually my first Great League Battles since Great League opened back up. Uh, so I'm going to be using a team of Altaria, Lantern, and Deoxys. Uh, Altaria is a really strong lead uh, that's able to win a lot of matchups, uh, and Deoxys is a great safe switch. While Lantern in the back uh, can handle things like Azumarill, Skarmory, uh, and even does pretty well against Registeel. Uh, so I I really like this team. Uh, I definitely there are definitely some weaknesses, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, so Great League is quite a bit different than Master League in terms of the strategy. In Master League, I find that uh, shield advantage is the most important thing, whereas in uh, Great League, I find that switch advantage is uh, more important when you get into those longer drawn out matchups, you really want to make sure that you've got the right Pokemon against uh, their Pokemon. Uh, so that changes the way that you play just a little bit, uh, and in particular dropping a shield to win switch advantage is often a good move. Uh, so in this first match we come up against Azumarill in the lead. Uh, so that's not a great lead for us, we've got to go into Deoxys right away. Uh, and then they bring in Meganium. This is perfectly fine. We're just going to be going for Rock Slides, uh, and I'm very happy to see the Meganium come in now, uh, because it would really hurt my Lantern in the back. So uh, he did not shield the first Rock Slide, so I'm not going to shield the Frenzy Plant here. Uh, I'm able to get to another Rock Slide right away, um, and he actually does not shield again. So this is good. Uh, I'm going to be able to farm him down with Counter. I am going to shield to uh, win that Switch Advantage. Uh, and then I'm taking out with counter, and I'm expecting the Azumarill to come back in. Uh, and it does. Uh, I should have gone for Psycho Boost right away there, uh, but I didn't, and he's actually able to take out um, Deoxys before I can get off the charge move. But that's totally fine, because Lantern can come in against Azumarill. Uh, now when he switches into Registeel, I go ahead and bring in Altaria, because I want to make sure I save that Lantern for Azumarill. Um, Altaria isn't going to have a winning matchup against Registeel, but it should be able to do enough damage uh, to get it within Thunderbolt range. And we actually get a shield there, which is really good for us. Uh, so we're just going to go for these Sky Attacks as quickly as we can, just trying to get some chip damage on that Registeel. Uh, and we're it's totally fine to let Altaria go down here, because now Lantern can come in and clean up against both Registeel and their Azumarill. So they bring back their Azumarill. Uh, which is actually good news for me, because it means I can farm up some extra energy. Uh, so go for the Thunderbolt here. It's going to be getting the Azumarill quite low. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to farm it down the rest of the way for some energy. So don't need to shield. Uh, Azumarill doesn't have any charge moves that really threaten Lantern. Uh, so able to take it out. Uh, have a Thunderbolt ready and waiting uh, that we're going to drop to get that last shield from the Registeel. Um, and then hopefully we can get to another Thunderbolt before they get to their charge move, which we do. Uh, but even if we didn't, we had a shield back for Focus Blast. So um, that was definitely uh, a good solid win for us there, uh, where Lantern was really able to bring that match home against Registeel and um, Azumarill. Okay, so getting into the second one, we have uh, an Altaria Mirror match. So here what I'll generally do is Dragon Breath till a Sky Attack, drop the Sky Attack, and if they shield, I will stay in with a... Uh, I'll switch out to Deoxys. If they don't shield, I'll uh, stay in with Altaria. So they shield, so I sw switch into Deoxys. Um, I'm going to mirror the shield here. Uh, sky Attack does do a fair bit of damage. Um, and then they drop another one. I can't use both shields this early, uh, but I'm going to be able to get to the rock slide um, pretty soon. Uh, and they do a great swap and swap into Meganium on the charge move. So that's definitely um, not ideal. Uh, but now we've just got to get as much damage onto this Meganium as we can. So we go for Psycho Boost because I don't think I could have got to rock slide before they got to Frenzy Plant. Uh, and then this 
frenzy plan is going to be taking us out, but we actually got the Meganium quite low, so that's okay. Uh, Altaria is going to be coming back in here, should be able to farm down with Dragon Breath. Um, and, but then they actually have a Bastiodon in the back, so this is really tough for us. Uh, Lantern is going to have to carry this match, uh, but with them still having a shield up, uh, we can't go for Hyper Pump right away. So we're going to go for Thunderbolt. Uh, they actually swap in here, which is totally fine. We're going to be able to take out the Altaria um, and then farm him down for some extra energy. So that was not too bad. Um, going for another Thunderbolt, uh, which should be getting their shield. But I don't think we're going to be able to get to a Hyper Pump before they get to Stone Edge. Uh, and so I bail and go for Thunderbolt. They do get to Stone Edge first. Uh, fortunately, it does not quite take us out, uh, so we are going to be able to get off the Thunderbolt, but we definitely would not have been able to get to Hyper Pump. So drop the Thunderbolt and then just try and come in with Altaria to do as much damage as I can. Uh, so go for the Dragon Pulse here, uh, but it's going to be resisted. Bastiodon is so thick that we're just not going to be able to do enough damage, so the Bastiodon is going to be able to take us out. Uh, so that's definitely a tough match. Um, against Bastiodon, if I'm not able to get uh, Deoxys to bring him down with counter, and they still have shields for Hydro Pump, it's really tough to take him out. Okay, so we're jumping into the third matchup here. Um, one win, one loss so far. Uh, and we catch a Toxicroak on it. So this is pretty good for us to catch the Toxicroak. Uh, they bring Azumarill in, uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Lantern um, and just start going for those Thunderbolts. Uh, so again, don't need to shield. Um, it is a Hydro Pump, but it still doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, and this Thunderbolt's going to be dealing a lot of damage to the Azumarill. Uh, so at this point, he's low enough that I can actually farm him down with Spark. Um, Unfortunately, he's able to get to another Hydro Pump just as uh, he's fainting. So um, that gets our Lantern quite low, but we've got Thunderbolt ready for Toxicroak when Toxicroak comes in. So this is going to be getting the Toxicroak uh, fairly low and not quite able to get to another Thunderbolt, but now we can bring Altaria back in um, against the Toxicroak. Uh, so they bring in Wigglytuff. I've got to bring in Deoxys. That turn damage is going to add a really quick uh, and now Deoxys needs to bring this fight home for me. Uh, so, going to be dropping the Rock Slides, uh, trying to take out that Wigglypuff as fast as we can. Uh, I would be going for the Psycho Boosts, uh, since they do better damage per energy, but he's still got those shields and we can't debuff the Deoxys yet. So, we're able to get him fairly low, and now um, we're just going to need Altaria to Dragon Breath him down as quickly as we can. So the Sky Attack gets the second shield, and then we're able to just bring him down, uh, and Altaria will be able to handle the Toxicroak uh, coming back in, so my opponent surrenders. So, uh, definitely uh, see a lot more variability in Great League, so it makes for some more interesting battles. Uh, in this fourth one, we get a Swampert on the lead, uh, which is pretty good for us. Uh, the Mud Shots are going to be resisted, so they swap into Hypno. Uh, I bring in Deoxys. Uh, I probably should have brought in Lantern, um, since I don't want Lantern to have to face Swampert in the back. Uh, but Deoxys will be resisting that Confusion damage, so... Just going to be going for Rock Slides here. I did shield the first charge move, thinking it could be Shadow Ball, uh, but I'm going to let this one come through, uh, sort of make him prove that he's got it, and it's another Fire Punch. So I'm not convinced that he has Shadow Ball at this point, so I'm not going to be using any shields against this um, Hypno now. So going for those Rock Slides, uh, able to get him fairly low. We did get a shield as well. Um, this charge move again, it's Fire Punch, so he almost certainly does not have Shadow Ball. So going to be going, getting another Rock Slide off, uh, and this will be either getting the second shield or taking out the Hypno. We do get the second shield. 
Uh, and then he's going to drop another Fire Punk here. Uh, and we're not going to shield, we're just going to let the Deoxys go down. So Altaria can come in now and farm for some energy. Uh, and then we see their own Altaria come in. So this is totally fine. We can drop the Dragon Pulse now. Um, since they've got no shields, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage, and then we're going to swap into Lantern to try and get an energy advantage. Um, this is probably going to be Dragon Pulse. Uh, we can let it hit us because uh, it's not going to take us out, and we really just want to get as much energy as we can on him. So they swap in the Swamper, uh, which is great for us because Hydro Pump will deal a lot of damage. So we're able to get the Hydro Pump off, um, and then Swamp Lantern has done its job here, so it's going to go down to the uh, Hydro Cannon, but uh, Altaria can come back in and just Dragon Breath Swampert down. Uh, and then they've only got their Altaria with a sliver of health left, so they go ahead and surrender. Alright, so jumping into this uh, last match here. Um, looks like we had an error in the match there, so let's try again. Uh, definitely can see, though, already that switch advantage is really important in Great League. So here we catch a Deoxys on the lead. What I always try and do against Deoxys uh, is switch on their rock slide. So uh, I charge up almost to a sky attack and then swap out and I'm able to absorb the rock slide with my Deoxys. So uh, that saves me from having to use a shield. Uh, and then he's actually staying in this mirror match, which is totally fine. Um, we're going to be pretty close. So I'm just uh, dropping some rock slides here, trying to get some damage onto him. Uh, and then able to get to another rock slide, but he actually swaps on the charge move into Stun Fisk, uh, which is a good play by him. And I've never seen this matchup before, so I don't know exactly how much damage Stun Fisk does. Uh, I'm not going to shield here. I'm going to let him take me out. Uh, and then I'm going to bring Altaria back in. Uh, so Sky Attack's going to be resisted, so I'm going for Dragon Pulse here, hoping that he lets it go through, but he does use a shield. Uh, I'm not going to use a shield here just because I want to see how much Discharge does. So it does a decent amount, but not too much. Uh, so that's fine. going to shield this one, though. Uh, I want to keep some health on Altaria. Um, and then I'm going to be dropping a Sky Attack uh, to try and take him out. I don't think it's quite going to take him out from this range, uh, since it will be resisted, but it does do a decent amount of damage. Uh, and then... I don't. I know that I don't have to shield this discharge because it won't take me out. So, just gonna uh, dragon breath him down and then go for sky attack as quickly as I can. And they bring in Skarmory, so it will unfortunately be resisted, uh, but that's totally fine because I can bring in Lantern now, uh, who will be able to bring this fight home for me. Uh, Lantern against Skarmory is a really great matchup for me. This Thunderbolt's gonna be getting a shield. Um, and he's probably going to swap in here. I'm going to burn my own shield here. Deoxys uh, is really the only threat to me left in this fight. So I just need to get him out here as quickly as I can. So I'm going for that Thunderbolt as soon as it comes up to make sure that he doesn't get to another charge move. Uh, and I am able to get to it before he gets to another charge. So that's good. Uh, they bring in their Skarmory, but um, at that point, the, there's nothing they can do. So they go ahead and surrender. Uh, so that was definitely a uh, good set of four there. Um, definitely fun to get back into some great league matches. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.